We're brewing a beer today, which is always exciting, and we decided to do something fairly straightforward and easy. It's our Tug Pale Ale, our flagship Pale Ale, and everything is in the grist case and the hopper. Pretty much all I got to do is push a button and away we go. We're a traditional single infusion brewing system. It's about as basic as you can get, uh, where we infuse the grain with, a, with one temperature of water. We hold that at, a, at an hour to convert the starches to sugars. From, then on we, from there on, we go into our kettle. We boil for an hour or hour and a half, depending on the beer and then through a heat exchanger and into to our conical fermenters. So what you see up here, which is pretty cool, is that for this beer, which is a pale ale, it's mostly pale malt, but we do throw a little bit of dark malt in there for color. If this was a stout or a darker beer, you'd see a lot more, a lot higher percentage of that darker grain running through there. But right now, it's basically just a sprinkling on top to uh, make it the perfect color for a pale ale. We lay down a blanket of water so that as the malt, which is getting crushed or milled, comes in, it's got a nice soft landing. And basically, we're making porridge. We got barley, probably a little bit of wheat, and uh, rice hulls. Not real rice, but rice hulls, just to bulk up that mash and make sure we don't end up with concrete. That'd be bad. We're brewing a, a wheat wine. It's a relatively new style of wine. It's uh, real similar to a barley wine, but it has a silkier mouthfeel. Uh, from the wheat, and it also, the, um, the flavor is much lighter because of the wheat. And then it's, uh, we're using a, a 3787 Y yeast, uh, it's an Abbey Ale yeast, to, um, it, it's a real aggressive yeast, it ferments really well, really quickly, and the alcohol isn't as strong or hot with this yeast, which could be on a high alcohol beer. So I, I think it's a good marriage of malt and yeast. The wheat, we gotta be a little careful on. We're putting it all in at the end because we wanna make sure that we get the crush on it. Right, because the big stuff, the pail, um, we're set the mill for that. So now we wanna make sure that we can get uh, the right crush on the wheat at the back end, so. So the first thing we're checking here is the crush of the grain. We wanna make sure that we got just the right crush. We've opened up the kernel expose as much of the interior as possible without turning it into flour. Flour is a bad thing. Uh, you run the danger of literally creating cement, creating a stuck mash, and doesn't allow the water to percolate down through the grain. Uh, our mill is uh, a really good mill. Once we lock it down, it's in good shape. We use a single roll malt mill, which is, that is the description, is one roll, and it goes against the two rolls come together to a to a small measurement. And it's real important for the crush. Every, or we try to get all the grain crushed. And by doing that, we get water into all the grain and then we extract the sugar. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's paramount that we get the crush right every time. The entire process is temperature dependent. We, we try to go uh, 150 to 151 degrees. That gives us the, the drier ales that we want. If we want something a little sweeter, we'll go a little higher with the temperature, and that produces some more unfermentable sugars. We have uh, seven fermenters here right now, and we have approximately 10 serving tanks. Uh, they're all in use all the time and it would be nice to have more fermenters and more serving tanks and more beer kegs to put all this in, but that's just the way it is. I think the most important thing to realize about Marshall Wharf Brewing or small breweries like this is everything is manual. There's no, man, there's no automatic rake that's agitating the mash. There's no pump control panel. There's no automated valves. Everything we're doing is by hand, and that's really where the uh, brewers Earn their keep. Every bit of the process is hands-on. There's nothing automatic about what we do. This is a, it's basically a traditional British brewing system.
love and die and bring 